When two lines intersect, special pairs of angles are formed. Angle 1 and angle 3 are considered vertical angles. They share only a vertex. You can either make an arc or trace the angle to help you identify them. Angle 2 and angle 4 are also vertical angles. They share only a vertex. Vertical angles are congruent. That means they have the same measure. Adjacent angles are next to each other. Angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. They share this ray between them and they share this vertex. Angle 2 and angle 3 are adjacent angles. Angle 3 and angle 4 are adjacent angles. They share this ray right here in this vertex. Angle 4 and angle 1 are also adjacent angles. Two angles are said to be complementary if the sum of their angles is 90 degrees. In the first diagram, angle 1 and angle 2 would be considered complementary. If you added angle 1 plus angle 2, you would get this entire right angle. If you're having trouble seeing it, you can uh, shade in each one, shade in angle 2 and angle 1, and you can see that together they made that right angle. Angle 5 and angle 4 are also considered complementary because they're, the sum of their angles is 90. Supplementary angles are a pair of angles that add to 180 degrees. Angle 4 in this diagram plus angle 5 would make a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. Again, if you're having trouble seeing it, go ahead and shade it in. Here's angle 4, and here's angle 5, and together they make this straight line. When you have a set of parallel lines that is cut by another line, we say you have a pair of parallel lines cut by a transversal. This line right here is called a transversal. Can you see that this set of four angles looks just like this set of four angles down below? These are called corresponding angles. They're on the same side of the transversal and they're congruent. That means they're both the same size, the same measure. So do you see this large obtuse one looks just like this large obtuse one. Angle 2 is the corresponding angle with angle 6. Angle 3's corresponding angle is angle 7. Angle 4's corresponding angle is angle 8. Interior and exterior angles, you can remember because of interior house paint or interior decorating, those are the ones inside the parallel lines. Angle 4 and angle 3, angle 5 and angle 6 are all interior angles. The exterior angles, like exterior house paint, are on the outside. So angle 1 and angle 2, angle 8 and angle 7 are all exterior angles.